Mm, so fam, you guys see that this one is like a different background entirely. That's because I told you guys I'm deleting my channel and I think that's what I will still do because it's becoming too toxic. Like okay, wait. One thing I want to tell you guys, wait, see anything I see I'm seeing in this video or long about Mofi Bane, please any every single thing I'm seeing in this video, eh? For those of you that are my real follower, please, I'm using God to beg you. Please, so I'm using God to beg you. For everything I'll be seeing in this video, when I say, she be who know one video and this, if I know, say, I'm, write it in the comments and say, Auntie, you know, talk and you're lying. Please, I am begging you. You get, please, I'm begging you. First of all, the first thing is, if you watch my videos on how to search for jobs, eh, in the UK, or maybe any other random video, what that is to tell you? I tell you that Nigeria is different from UK. Whatever you are doing, have a legal backup. I talk come about not talk come. Please, if I'm lying, a draw or long You know that there are some people that are not used to my channel, they will come and be please just be saying it. If you know that you've watched my video from beginning to the end before the uh, session for I used to tell you that when you're conversing with a K home or anything, make sure you have don't do WhatsApp chats. Chat them on email. And if you know when I did my episode two that I saw one agent that said they are recruiting Nigerians. I don't know, you put you a hey, mouse. What that episode two or TV, I'll correct when I'm editing this video. When I started it, it started with a screenshot, screenshot of what? Of that care home. Asking them that what I just called you from Nigeria. And you said you offer certificate of sponsorship. A MacBook meal that I just want to confirm. Did you guys saw the screenshot or not? But then I had to blur the name because this thing I have it, and this is because let's imagine that I collect money from somebody now. They now call them that they did not offer much any reason. But as I used to tell you guys, when you want to do anything in the UK, always have your legal evidence, and I keep saying it. Okay, let's keep talking. You guys know that video that I posted when they say UK ban Nigeria and everything that I made a 50 TV minutes video. She won't see. If, if you know that you watched the video to the end, just come forward because there is a discussion we have to say. Yo, you, oh God. You push you know me by now that I know they talk if I know Siam. I know they talk on based on I hear say, I hear say, I hear say. If I hear say, I'll just tell you apostrophe. You push your come forward. If you watch that video, uh, UK ban Nigeria, the misunderstanding all. Oh, <laughs> if you watch the video, come forward. When I told you I got the equivalence of MVQ, she would they be Did you watch it up to that side? Before I told you the equivalence or how I got it, I attached the screenshot. And before I attached the screenshot, I told you guys I contacted this guy. He's, he's a nurse in UK for the past five or this year. Which I But now he's guy is a citizen. So I for what ten years. You guys know I attached the screenshot that this guy is a UK citizen. He's a nurse in the UK. That chela have even passed our meet. But then, calm down. But then I had to come down from my high horse and chat with him because of you guys. Because I told you, oh, please, if, if I'm like, you can go back to that video and come watch. Thank God I never delete the video, the channel. You people would have said, ah, this guy is lying. No, you can't. Please just be leaving it in the court. Because me, I like to do things that I will be accountable for. Even if I used to put disclaimer, at least hold me for what I say. Um, be listening. No. I told you guys that. I asked him that there's one of my friends that has been. I even thought it was five years because I met him like five years ago. But now he's a citizen, so that means he has been there for like ten years. That please, do you know the equivalence of MVQ? Please, you people can watch the video. I come and tell me if you saw it or not. I know that when I was editing that video, when I put the screenshot, I know that some people might feel like that was unnecessary. Why do you have to put? I don't know. Emi eko ni I don't know. That spirit just say, call the name out and just post it. That spirit just said it, and thank God I did. And then my purpose of doing that was to tell you that no be say you day UK. You day UK, no me say you get information past me. You day UK, no get. And what from the chat, right? When you guys saw the chat, I asked the guy that I searched all the internet looking for every cue that there's nothing like that. Okay, you, you are a nurse in UK. You spent five years. I be this thing. When it be UK MVQ equivalence, yo, let's know. What did the guy say? You people should go back to that video. Even if you can't watch, just be scrolling and keep going to that place of screenshots. Please. What did he say? When he making it, there is no equivalent of MVQ in Nigeria. No waiting to talk with that. Then, I now chatted further. There is no equivalent. But Google said equivalent to A A2 level. I be A A MVQ level. I be A2 level. I think he said 
is coming that is sleeping he will get back to me she will remember even if it's for you to go back to that video and just play that particular part a complete so that may not be like say this girl you too they lie you too they lie i tell you say i'm a nigerian let me say every nigerian is a scam and that's why i am here to make a difference it is not every nigerian that is a scam I was already having audience. You all actually think that I am in I, I am in UK. Look at my house. If I tell you, hey guys, so this is the weather in UK, and I'm not gonna believe. Look at my house. But when I saw that people were having that assumption, and me I mean, I came out to tell you that I know the UK. Whatever I'm doing, I am making my research from inside my house in Nigeria. I know to come. Even when I was telling you you pay for this care home, I still told you that we pay what? I know the UK. Even when some of you were saying the money is too much and everything, we didn't give us CSO as a normal Nigeria, as a businessman in Nigeria. So I'm supposed to say, when you pay, don't worry, they will give a certificate. It's true, no interview, no, no be waiting. If I talk and people don't go pay, so you people should be telling me now, people don't go pay. And this is what these agencies they do in the and everything. They will tell you that pay, you will not do interview, or they will tell the consular to give you visa. If if if, if people have fallen scam or visa agents before, please come forward. Is that not what they tell you? They'll tell you when you pay, they'll talk to the consular to give you visa. And really, in real life, you go down and do your entire, they'll give you the visa. They'll say, you see, you see. Did they follow you to enter the embassy? But me, I told you guys, the money that I am charging is for care home alone. And I told you, if I'm lying, and my job me no comment, so you be telling me that this girl, you are lying. And I told you that before you pay that money, make sure that you are qualified for the job. Even if I check it. I don't tell you that the money is just for you to tell you the name of the care home that we quit Nigeria. So don't let me debate too much. So you guys saw the guy that said uh, when I asked him what's the equivalence of MVQ level uh, MVQ equivalence in Nigeria, what did he say? He said um, a, um he said there is no equivalence in Nigeria. Okay, I chatted him again that okay, I saw it as A two. Can he A two? Is it two A two? Is it two A levels and everything? He said this coming that he wants to sleep according to that screenshot. And then when I was making that video, she probably told you that um guy in your own soon soon soon. So, you know, since that time that I made that video, that's almost two or three weeks now. Should it two weeks? This one I go I go live for that one because I'm not sure again. For two or three weeks, that guy has been sleeping till yesterday night that he texted me. Since that time that I asked him that he said he's coming, that he, he wants to sleep and wake up. Oh. Since that time, the guy has been sleeping. Oh, the old soon, lolo, till yesterday night that he texted me, that he sent me a message on WhatsApp. So he said, when you wake up, will you tell me MVQ of uh, this thing? What are you buying? 14 days. Oh, then soon, 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 soon. You don't wake up. And even when you wake up, you still, not, you, this, you still do not address the MVQ level. You now jumped. So now, when the guy now jumped, and I sent me a message. You guys know that. I don't, okay, you guys don't. Or I don't know. Maybe I've said it too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, I cannot lie. But I have to WhatsApp. One is on this, my big iPhone. And the other one is on my Android. If you notice sometimes, I actually shoot on my iPhone. So when I want to make reference to something, and I want to shoot, when I feel like it's not something I can write in my notes, maybe it's too much, I'll take the screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp on my phone. That is why when I'm making video, like when I did that episode TV of TV on JK that is recruiting, you saw me with my item my item my phone that one the phone is on the airplane i told you my phone is on the airplane because i don't want any distraction you saw me reading for me that's because i sent the screenshots from my iphone iphone movie my browse i browse with my iphone then i will not send the screenshots to my second whatsapp that is on my small phone so i will now connect the hotspot together so when the thing has downloaded i will just off my hotspot and then when i do the video so guys you are talking about this today and so from what i'm seeing and everything so i just realized that someone it actually saved me time like that one that I was talking about care homes, I cannot be writing it down. Let me just screenshot it from their website. You guys understand what I'm trying to say. So that's when I read it from my phone. So the guy asked my WhatsApp number to that small phone you get. So, you know, I told you that that small phone does not have data. I don't get data. But even if you text me on WhatsApp, I cannot see it. Only when I send a screenshot from this, my iPhone WhatsApp to that small, that's the only time that when I connect the hotspot to, I will see the data. Do you guys understand? And that the reason I did it because on iPhone, if you use iPhone, you you will know. If you use iPhone, if you put it on don't disturb, you can still be browsing, you can still be living your life and everything. But in all these small small phones, sometimes when, when you off your mobile data, you have to you cannot off the you cannot put it on airplane mode. You know that airplane mode of Android is like don't disturb of iPhone. Um, iPhone. Timbati phone, me see don't disturb iPhone. 
nobody will call me i'll still be browsing i'll still be shooting my video living my life but i cannot do same for android and that's why i disconnected i don't recharge on that's why if i want to use that small phone i used to connect my data from this iphone to my data to that small phone so this morning you no know, I want to talk. I told you guys I'm not going to upload on this channel again. I said it. I wanted to make video for my other this thing. I made this in and then let me send it to my WhatsApp. I connected all spots as usual. As I connect them. WhatsApp load, then I saw five messages. I was like, ah. And again, that thing is for people that even have my old number, they don't even know I'm online because there's no deep planning. Because I feel like this immigration channel is taking my time. I don't want anything that will Take my time. You understand, Sha? I've said it so much in my video that I don't want any distraction. That's a okay. I want to see this, this, this thing. Oh, oh, back, you know. I hope they've not taken the light. Okay. So, as I was saying, that was I connected um hotspot to my small phone. I now saw five messages. Was I like, who is texting me? Waiting for me to see message from this guy. The thing actually came like um a strange number because. I don't really have contact on that small phone. Most time, when I bought that small phone, what? Sometimes when you're editing, hmm, you get bored. When I stay alone, I get bored. Sometimes I just want something to me, and I don't have TV. I don't have it because I know they watch them. So sometimes I just play um all this your bamboo on my phone. Let them just make them. Maybe nobody's not only me their house. And that's what I. But that's why I bought second phone. Sometimes when you're editing, when you're watching movie, sometimes you make. If you're a YouTuber, you understand what it takes to edit a video. <laughs> so that was that. In our text me, and that's what that plus to this thing. You people know that I've told you before. If I not, I posted on my this thing yesterday that I have just two people in the UK. Just two. One is that guy of five year nurse, and the other one is uh, that guy that told me about um uh, this UK uh, countries exempted. And yesterday when I was in appreciation video, I made mention of him that thank you for inspiring this video. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? I've actually had achieved it now. If you're not following me on Instagram, you know what I've seen that. Po no, it's somebody that is my old channel that I posted it. I'll be doing a screenshot now or something. I don't know. I've actually achieved it. I did not really post it in my distinction. So when the guy now chatted me, I was like, who is the name of this number? So the first place that my mind went to was that guy that told me about, um, you can't write, it's not everybody that can write IELTS that just butchers the point. I checked the number, it was not the same. That low only number, I to text him. Then I now said, ah, Can it be this guy? Ah, we don't get any link. Only for me to go and check. It was this guy that said there is no, that said you want to sleep before you come and tell me MVQ. Before I even check, I clicked the message. I'll be displaying the message on the screen. When I read it, I was like, I don't understand. The person was like, I'm posting on Instagram, charging people for sponsorship that I'm a scam. Something I don't know anything about. How will I be in Nigeria and be telling people that you know something about UK? Then, when I was there, like, why would this guy come and be talking to me like this and everything? Because I don't allow people to follow me on that old channel. Like, it's on private. You can't follow me. And I intentionally posted there yesterday. Like I told you, there was one video that I like, okay, episode two. You know, I was talking about on um, um, popular, um, oh god, on um, popular agencies, right? I told you my analysts, I have viewers from most of my viewers are Nigerians, and I have like 10 percent from UK. Show sure that I've posted a video, nobody has ever come to see that this girl, yeah, you are posting nonsense, you are, you are talking rubbish, you, are, you don't know what you are saying. Nobody, the only one that I know that people have issue with is that one that I said. You don't need IELTS if you are from this country. And that is because some of them did not watch the video. They will just say, eh, yeah, how will you write um, NMC, N my MNC without this and everything? And then I see people in the comments and say that, watch the video. I said, aside license exam that requires any other thing, you don't need IELTS. That like if they ask you, use this six point. If you watch the video, the bank power came out so for me. Till now, that's the only one. And I have over 50 videos on my YouTube. Over 50. That is the only one that people have issue with. And it's not like it's a wrong information. It's just because, oh, you did not finish watching the video. Or you do not understand. Or you do not understand the exceptions I'm talking about. Do you guys understand me now? So I have people from UK that is watching me. Some people will intentionally watch it. This guy, you say you did not Nigeria. Go see what you want post. At least to correct me that, mm, this guy, you are lying. You know? This guy, you are not lying. You know? This guy, you are not clinical. And if, I be some of you feel like I delete comment, right? At least, even, even when... I know that some of you, before you watch my video, you would have watched other YouTubers too. I'm sure you would have watched or made your own research. So when I make videos and say, hey guys, today we're talking about how to feel fun. If person they tell you one thing, you're supposed to know now. So let's even say maybe you've not been to UK. You're supposed, you're supposed to know if I'm lying to you. 
Abby, Abby, you're supposed to have an idea. They say this guy should talk nonsense. So the guy has a message that me, I'm scamming people. That's why Nigerians are killing them. Then I now type the number or compare it because I say I, have, I only know just two people in UK. And then I checked the number. It was like this guy, to salon to wear a video. Then I sent one long voice note to me. I was like, <laughs> guys, I want you to know something. I know Nigerians have one mentality, and that's one thing that's really been making this thing very. And that's why I said I'm deleting my channel. The fact that I am in Nigeria does not mean that you are in UK and you know more than me. The difference between us is now who they make research. You feel they, you feel they work inside one company. You feel they work. You should not know anything about the company. Now somebody from outside will come and tell you. Yes. Even when I keep calling these care that do you recruit Nigerians and everything? When you call and the receptionist speak, they will say no, they don't recruit Nigeria. But then when you get contact of their office, they will say yes, they recruit Nigerians. Why? Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? You are working in an organization. When we say they employ you, you are working in an organization. Does not mean you have information about everything in that company because not be your department. Let's say, for example, Dangote. If people have been to Lagos or Dangote refinery, do you guys notice that we have some Chinese that is working with Dangote? If I'm like me on a talk, mm -hmm. we have some Chinese that is working with Dangote refinery. But let's say Dangote, eh, that's why I'm using Dangote, very popular brand. Let's say Dangote have. Um, a shop, a, big, uh, a warehouse in Ondo State. And then in that Ondo State, they are now looking for receptionist, secretary, and everything. Do you guys understand me? They now put the vacancy. We are looking for receptionist. We are looking for this thing, in this thing. And then you went there, you submitted your CV, you went for interview. In Ondo State, to then go to the final in Ondo State, to you got there. After your interview and everything, they passed you. And again, they now got, let's just use receptionist. You got the post as a receptionist. So your own is to pick up for somebody that want to come up, carry down go take spaghetti. They will say, ah, you wanna get spaghetti? Wait, may I ask? Warehouse, we get spaghetti. Okay, in the oh. Your under call is to eh, let me take get my main income. Get man, they they call you. Oh. You know what receptionists do now? <clears throat> That's what they recruited you. How did you get this job? You went to Dangote office in Ondo State. I want you guys to be that you know that when I'm doing my video, I like to relate it to real life experience so that you can be able to relate you people know i do it a lot so now keep watching so you are a receptionist though don't go to main branch when they say main branch or headquarters it's only the place that don't go to the business in here most times don't go to head offices in lagos but i get my i got my job in on those states as a receptionist picking calls telling people how many spaghetti is in the warehouse how many people that came to visit oh yeah sign you want to see your guy sign that's where i got my job so let's now say a viewer from Ghana. Let's now say Dangote now posted, um, we need some people, some people to come apply for work and everything. Maybe they just posted general vacancies, um, reception is this even all over branches. And then a Ghanaian, a Ghanaian or somebody from Cameroon or somebody from, let me use Ghana because oh, Nigeria and Ghana is very, uh, you will understand. If somebody from Ghana now called Dangote, and you know sometimes when you go on the website, uh, most times, the the number that they used to put is always receptionist number. If you guys know, they, before you see a child number, womanly, you see receptionist number. So let's just say, for example, the number that now put is now the reception. I don't mean personal receptionist number, but at least reception of that of any branch or anything. Sha. And then that's, <laughs> even when you want to order something, sometimes when you type something, when you want to order, something, you say please I want to order pizza. When you tell them you are just so you say sorry we are so far from you. Please can we direct you to our branch that is near you, you near you? you say okay which branch? Okay I will send you the number shortly. As it happened to you, it has happened to me when I wanted to order from Podomino's pizza. Did this thing I was showing online? Google said this is the closest to me. Whereas and that one is just behind me here. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? So let me now say that the number that Dangote put on their website is the number of that. Um, on those states branch or oh, is one of the numbers in down those states. maybe it's the first one maybe it's the second one you know sometimes when you visit a website when you see plenty numbers you first do like this which one should i call which one will be easy for me to copy are they like am i lying there are some that when you click it it will not copy then you look for the number that will be easy for you to copy okay oh it two, 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 two. okay this one will be easier you when you see four numbers like this and they say even when you want to rent house when you say this house is for rent they will put four numbers. Then you look at the four numbers. You be like, which one should I call first now? You target the one that did. We have two rhymes number. 
not all those confused that's a number that is tv is one they look very you first started the one that look with make right then you call <laughs> so let's just now say a ghanaian in ghana remember that dangote posted that is recruiting people for his company whether in Ondo, whether in anything you know. for you people know he posted it on the website mm -hmm. a ghanaian now called then maybe a ghanaian just look at the number that is Okay, this one will be easy for me to dial on my phone. Just dial it. And you say, hello, is this Dangote? Um, this year? I say, yes, this is the receptionist. Even when the Ghanaian called that um, receptionist in Ondo State, and then the Ghanaian now saw plus two TV4. Okay, sorry, Queen in Ghana. Ghana is plus two TV3, right? So sorry, so sorry. So when a Ghanaian now called that girl that is in Ondo State in Nigeria, right? um, with plus two TV, when you see plus two TV, you will see that you'll be receiving call of plus two TV four zero eight oh seven seven a one plus two TV four. The first time you might not even pick, and yes, that's what one of those things I've experienced. When I call some UK came home, they will not pick at first because they'll be like, ah, I deal only with um zero one seven. Can you call a one plus two TV four that is calling me from where to where? So sometimes they will not feel like it'll be like saying a mistake call. If you've ever called any care home and they did not pick, yes. Sometimes it's their receptionist, um, their reception number. So as a receptionist, when you see it, you say, ah, what's your concern plus two TV for inside UK now? This one, now, now, now that call divert. That is one reason why they are not picking call. And then let's say you keep calling and everything. They should not pick the call. You say hello. And then as a Ghanaian, you say, um, please, do you be quit from outside Nigeria? If you are a receptionist. No, let's be sincere with ourselves. We, we like a discussion. If you are a, a receptionist, receptionist that... You know that for you to get the job, they posted the vacancy, you know, those days. Then you work there to go and do interview. They, they recruited you locally. So when somebody now asks you that, do you recruit Ghanaians? What will you say? What will you say? What will you say? No, we don't. And then when, if the receptionist is nice enough, they'll be like, wait, let me ask. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? So let's say a receptionist now say, no, we don't, Ghanaian. Ghana, okay. Ghana from where to where? We say, no, we don't. That's because everybody she's working with inside that office, all of you are was, you are Nigerians. You cannot blame her. She has never seen a Ghanaian in a local office because most of you don't want to recruit international person. Hmm? Aside this, you're in Nigeria, when you recruit an international person, most times you work in their main office, Gong Ibeye, not you hardly see some branches in in other countries like that. You see all this involved working. It's very rare. If I'm like me, on the talk cam now, me on the talk cam for comment session, you rarely see. So the receptionist is actually used to a fellow Nigerians that are working with her. All my colleagues, we are Nigerians, and they are asking me, "Do you recruit Nigeria?" What I go tell you? No, be no, 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 no. But then if you actually press for that, maybe trying to persuade that, that please, can you ask the this thing? You can even go ask the manager, self, that calls himself manager of this thing. He will tell you no. Why? They don't have experience. They've never recruited a Ghanaian. A, this thing, they don't even care to find out. So for the fact that you work in an organization, you work in a company, about 30 years of this thing, does not mean you know everything about the company. But then, if that Ghanaian actually... Maybe try to call a number number or anything. Do you know by what Jassy Opono, Lagos, Lagos Dangote? Do you recruit Ghana? You say, yes, we do. Do you have all these things and everything? Do you guys understand the difference now? The Ghanaian called the Dangote branch in Ondo. She said no because she has never seen a Ghanaian or an international person working in this thing. That's why she said no. Whereas, if you call directly to the office in Lagos Dangote, they will say, ah, well, we, even if they don't, they can say, wait. Let me ask the HR. When you ask the HR in this thing, is this a say you know because Lagos is like airport today, the international airport. It's okay, oh, we, we are recruiting you know, and everything. Do you guys understand my analysis? So now when the guys call me a scam, then I was like, What evidence do you have that I have scammed people? And then it was like he, he has an agency, as in a nursing agency. He has worked for how many years? You know all those Nigerian this is even a citizen and everything. And so you are a citizen, and so you work at least 39 hours per week. And according to everybody's work visa contract, you are expected to take at least one shift. Sometimes you work as a nurse. When you even when you even the hospital for two hours, your body you'll be weak, you'll be tired, you'll be everything. Is it not you that you now get home, you now sit down and say no? 
You want to teach people how to do this thing, you go on God does you can be reading, you go on God and be calling care homes. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? And that is why YouTubers, immigration YouTubers, they keep repeating the same care home. If I'm lying, somebody said to my comment section that they are even better than me, that they are doing clickbait. Check out everybody is posting over UK. They will tell you, they will wait two weeks after. Agencies currently recruiting. Bam. You go and click it. Novo UK. Agencies currently recruiting. Bam. A1 K home. Agencies currently recruiting. Avanta K. Agencies currently recruiting. I'm scared. Agencies currently recruiting. Loving agents. I can mention so many. Even you as a Nigerian, you can stay like this. And let me say, name of K homes, name of K homes, name of K homes that you know in UK. As an applicant, you, you will face me like, oh, it's the UK, but it's more K homes, sorry. Am I lying? You've not, you never enter UK, but you don't know those kids. That's because they keep recycling the same agent, the same everything. And that's because you can't blame them. Nobody will sit down. They have 39 hours per work. They have family. Most of them are even married. They have family. They have kids. They have children. They have to fend for their house and do this one everything. They will not sit down. They will not say something. Oh, I don't know you want. They will not sit down and go on gov.uk. I'm checking information for you people one by one. Like I do in Nigeria. Nobody will do that for you because time is money for them. If you have anybody that is in the UK or even outside the country, call them that after I'm with this for one hour. Yeah, waiting will tell you. Call them that after let's just this for one hour. Call them. But in Nigeria, you can be working and then you call your party where they work. I bet more talk two hours. Sometimes even they will tell you two minutes break. You go work, do one hour. When your guy say, Where do you go? Hey ma'am, I went to do something. You this boy, you this boy. But in UK, you cannot try it. Most work in UK, you resume by 8 a.m. If you resume 0 0.5 seconds after 8 a.m., 15 minutes salary, at least 15 minutes um, money will be deducted from your salary. If you ask anybody in UK, tell me I'm lying. If you dare UK, talk and say they lie. 0 0.1 seconds from 0 0.1 seconds to 15 minutes. Eh? So it's cuckoo better when you know that you are one minute late. Cuckoo wait for the 15 because they will see the dot 15 minutes. You guys understand what I'm saying? But in Nigeria, when you are even one hour late, when you go and meet your guy, it's not me, it's not that Okada man. He push me like this because in Nigeria, you have different scenario. You have Okada that push you, you have tracky person, you have this one, you have that one, you have something to say. And if it is, you guys should understand what I'm trying to say. So you that you know that you have to resume 8 o'clock. But the jalati, in fact, seven thirty. So me, you know, do mistake. You now see that you have time to be doing overnight, and that is why I am different from people that is in UK. I am a jobless Nigerian. I took YouTube as my full time business, and that means I sit down to make my research. They are in UK. Does not mean they know better than me. The only thing that differentiates us is location, and I came online to tell you people. I am in Nigeria. I never go to this country before. Oh. I make my research from Nigeria. Oh, at the talk I know they talk come. Is it for you? Look at my window blind. So I said, look at my look at look at our window. She is I said this Okada that I kept to do. Hmm, no. If I tell you I'm in UK, won't you believe me? Look at it now. Look at the type of window we have. No, look at that window. Is this not how they build houses in UK? Look at it now. So we can tell you, hey guys, this is how it looks like in the moon. You will believe me. But I said, I will never lie to anybody. And that is me changing the notion that not every Nigerian is a scam. It's easy for me to deceive. Without telling you, you already believe like I did UK. I have some of my videos where I, where I did Russia. When I post it, ah, this girl, she did UK. It's easy for me. And when I do that, you people will start paying more. Say, ah, she did UK, she did UK. We have so many people, agents in Nigeria. They've not even crossed the border, but they are there making visa for people. They've never traveled outside the country before, but they are there making visa for people. So the guy was now calling me scan and everything. Then I was, I told him, you've lived in UK for a number of years. He said, yes. <laughs> he said, now he's even a citizen. Thank you. That means you've lived up to 10. 10 years, right? Eh? Citizen. It's almost like 10 years. Mm -hmm. So in that one, you should know what is defamation of character. Don't come to my comment section or come to me to call me scam when you don't have an evidence to back up that I took money from you and I did not offer the service. For the fact that you are in UK, you are working, he said you works with an agency in UK. Please, Emma Bruno, please. As a Nigerian, if you know that you've applied to so many agents, so many care homes, come forward. Because we have different, come forward. 
Because even in my email, there is this girl that is telling me that the people I caught, are you sure they are not agency? In fact, it was a consistent um bush and ten more. Are you sure they are not agency? That's someone that's what makes me to figure out like the way to agency they differ from Kelm. And that's why when I'm talking, I can say Kelm, I'll say agency, Kelm, agency. Because she says she has applied to so many agencies that is no this thing. So come forward. There are TV types of this thing in UK. NHS, NHS and private care homes. Am I lying? So for the girl to be telling me that, are you sure it's care home? This guy is telling me that he works with the agency and he's telling me that I have like posting things I don't know about. You think that's how certificate or sponsorship work? Is it not the same agency that we are avoiding? It's not the same agency that we are running away from. It's not the same agency that they say, if you are from a red list country, agency cannot um, recruit you. It's not the same agency that we are running away from. When I came to tell you people, what did I tell you? I said, I have TV. Two care homes and one agency. What did I tell you about the agency? I said, it's that one that is, is requesting for TV thousand something, something. But I talk about no talk -um. I said, two care homes and one agency. And before I say care home, because some people, they will say, can you come care? They are agencies. So there is a way you used to find out. <laughs> oh, God. So it actually feels like, okay, he's actually a manager in in agency care home in the uk he's making his videos so he's, he has been there for how many years and then there's one girl one shank collar girl inside nigeria telling people to pay a certain amount of money for care homes this girl you must be kidding me and then he doesn't even know how to come forward and say and see what are you talking about he had to like come and call me a scam that i am a scam you are doing agency me i'm talking to care home i beg how did we have the same pathway how this is the same guy that doesn't know. So the reason I'm do you know why I'm making this video? Do you know why I'm making video? This is the same guy that doesn't know the equivalence of MVQ in Nigeria. And this guy said he has been in agency for how many years? You've been in um, recruitment agency, nursing agency for how many years? And you don't know equip and you are a Nigerian. And you've never in your head asked that can the equivalency of MVQ to Nigeria? You've never asked it. Even when I asked you, you told me you wanted to sleep. And you slept for all two good weeks. So when I posted that I'm requesting for money, that's when you now woke up from your sleep. And then, do you know, oh, you people should calm down. And then, what when I kept chatting? And that's why the guy said, mm -hmm. something you don't know is that there's nothing like MVQ. I'm so I shock. Guys, I'll be attaching the this. I hope he has not deleted it before I finish this video. Somebody that has worked three years. Ha, ah, God, I'm shaking. Three years, about many years in North agency. He said, the reason I did not reply is because there's nothing like MVQ again in UK. <laughs> My body is shaking. That is somebody that works in an agency. That will quit people for other people that is looking for this thing. Do you guys now understand what I'm... Show, show, show me, show to you. And I didn't... I, 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 I was like... That's why I now know that, oh, this one is jealousy. Now, now, plain jealousy. You work with a care home, with a recruitment agency, and you're telling me that if I check with that, there is nothing like MVQ. <laughs> that they've scrapped, you say they've scrapped MVQ, I mean, there is nothing like MVQ. I'll be attaching the screenshot that there is nothing like MVQ in UK. So that, that, that's why he did not reply me. So when you know that there is something, there is nothing like MVQ in the UK. So why didn't you just tell me that there is nothing like MVQ instead of telling me there's nothing like the equivalent? So, I mean, is there another country that uses MVQ? <laughs> is, it, is there another country that uses MVQ? Can you guys now understand the difference now? Can you guys now understand? So when I come out to say, and hey, you pay for this, or I'm saying this, I live in Nigeria, I stay in Nigeria, I dedicate full time. To make my research, your friend, they UK, the day US, they don't does not mean they can give you accurate information. This all this information is on gov.uk, all this information is on um Google. As you know, as you mean, this information is eating. Maybe the thing there is one secret that is only when you are in UK, and then when I'm saying you push go, that's when you say, Ah, this girl, you're a scam, you're a scam, you are lying. Why you be saying like this? You're a scam, you cannot do this. But what this thing is online, who does he have access to online? Who does he have access to gov.uk? Who does he have access to Google? All the videos I'm bringing to you guys is just for me to go there, sit down, understand it, and then break it down into Nigerian English. Is it not online? And then when I'm not sure, I'll call my one of my ex that does um visa agents in this thing 
in Abuja. I beg, how did God that you get on to TLS contact? And when will somebody book this thing? Then when they yes, if I have not made my research, if that guy explained to me, there's no way I can understand. It's possible, I'll be confused. But I sat down, make my research. You people use to say how, how much plenty A4 paper is to use. You people know. I was like, okay, this one, everything. So when I now call somebody for explanation, once it's, once he has start explaining, I was like, okay, this one is the first one. This one is the first one. This one is the next. This one, I'll start analyzing it. But if I've not made my previous research, there is no way I can understand it. When I made video about, when when I told you one of my friends, that told me that um, if you are from these countries, you don't have to write, um, if you are from these countries, that you don't have to write um, LTS. The only point he gave me was um, that we are colonized by everything. If we saw how many minutes this thing, that's the only point he gave me. But wait, after that point, why did I come and tell you guys? I came to tell you six points. If you check my playlist for all English tests, check my first video that one that i posted on my keeping up you i put everything in a playlist i have come to make that type of video before but it was four points how to skip higher tears it was four points that time i was applying for canada i thought i was going for canada it was four is it tv or four point i don't know Sha. but then he gave me extra one point that actually buttressed my point if i have not made my research and i say hey guys some of you that are writing how it is and maybe do you know that we are colonized by the um, uk do you know that Nigeria, Ghana, Botswana, this is where can I buy it? So stop writing I help tears. Okay, see you in my next video. Ciao. How does that video make to you? Written this one. And we are colonized by UK and so. And so. So what now happened next? But I read information on gov.uk that if you have an English degree, if you have this one and everything, then I combined it with the point my friend gave me. Can you ask what makes us different? So please, when I come out to monetize my idea, to monetize something, don't ever call me a scam. I am a Nigerian, does not mean I am a scam. There are so many Nigerian scamming people. And that's why I am changing the narrative. I'm making my research for Momo. And I told you guys, if you want to unsubscribe, please unsubscribe. Let me know that like, many people unsubscribe, but you people still stayed. You still stay. You know that this guy is in Nigeria, but you still stayed. If I'm talking, I beg. If person they talk nonsense, if somebody is they saying incorrect, are, are you supposed to know? At least you make your own research to confirm it. This guy they talk. In all of that, that's when they ban this Nigeria. And somebody asks me that, what is my take about it? Even when they start saying, and eh, they don't request for me listening, like two or three people still ask me that I should better come and talk about it. Why? Because you believe in whatever I say. You know that I make my due research before I come outside. So maybe for those of you that are new or anything, I am not a scam. I am in Nigeria telling you to pay for something does not mean I don't know what I am saying. I have making my I have made my due diligence. If you check the number of times I posted about this, I've only posted about two care homes. Step by step, Novo you is even uh, two. Novo you care. The one I send Nigerians to apply to and then one other one. How to get these people? Was it NHS website or something? This is care home in the NHS, Sha. Yeah. <laughs> it's just to Sha. Yeah. Whereas your favorite YouTubers, they posted UK is currently requiting one million times. If you check their most video, is is the one that UK is currently requiting. UK is currently requiting. UK is do you think I don't know how to repeat videos? Do you think I don't know how to do it? They have this trendy video of NHS is currently requiting. Did you see it on my channel? Did you choose it on? That's for you to know that everything is not about money for me. Everything is not about views for me. I want to give value to people. And I want to prove points that no be all Nigerians be scam. I want to prove point that you can succeed anywhere you are. Whether you're in Nigeria, whether you're in UK, you're in anything. That is the narrative I'm going and permit I'm bringing out. If you follow me on my old channel, I've always been an advocate for that. That all of now where they travel out. I hope you, are, hope you are comparing your this thing. I always say it. I always say it. Compare your this thing before you go. If not to travel, for don't travel since last day. But I said the money where I go use travel now. But I go use a rent comfortable house. See, this is Saturday oh, a day. Can you see how everywhere is quiet? Is it is this I'm not giving you UK vibe? I've been waiting the UK again. And because I work from home, I don't used to come outside. If I want to buy something, this thing, I just call the this thing, they'll come and deliver it in front of my house. 
When I want to throw dustbin, dustbin is outside here. I'll be my mom, my jula took my target. If it's not enter, I'll go and say, I want to put it inside. I don't have any reason to come outside. So I now ask myself, yes, I know Nigeria is not safe, security and everything. So why I am why am I am I relocating outside the country when I know that my target audience are in Nigeria? Why am I relocating? So when somebody now asks me, why you you leave Nigeria? If you know see this link, they show for you, why you no know leave? When if I leave, who could they make all this research for now? I found the equivalence for MVQ. I got agencies. So I keep saying agency. I got care homes that will be quit Nigerians. Somebody left a comment that is there a way you can bring your domestic staff from Nigeria to UK? Do you know you can do that? I've made the research. Took by Mokosino way. But the matter. From my research and everything reading comments, I noticed that there are some Nigerians that and that thing is you're supposed to understand UK system before you UK transport system. Before you leave Nigeria, you're supposed to understand it. I've made that research. What do you four points? Another one is teaching you about types of apartments in the UK. In Nigeria, we know one bedroom flat, two bedroom flat, one bedroom flat. And self con finish. In UK, they have condo, they have uh, flats. Their flat is even different. You know when somebody say flat and apartment? We are talking about the same thing in Nigeria. They have flats, they have apartments, they have shared apartments, they have serviced apartments, they have furnished apartments, they have unfurnished apartments. In Nigeria, when you want to rent your house, it's unfurnished. Of course, you have to get this. They have furnished, they have unfurnished. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? So I feel like ah, Nigerians go get problem with this thing. Especially when they are new. Like especially when you don't have anybody there, you are going there for the first time. Hey, which one should I rent? Because there are some you're going there as a single person. Some you are going there with your family. Some you are I know that for the first few months, especially if you are if you are going on a budget, you cannot Mm, you might not be able to like rent all this to bedroom and everything you get at least maybe and it's not as if it's when you enter uk you say hey ask for rent oh motivile the way is hard for you to get apartment the same way is hard in uk and for you to actually get an apartment in uk as a nigerian did they don't tell you you will do like this you submit your document the reference letter and their reference has to be your employer i'll be your this a letter from your this thing so that means in the first maybe one or two months you cannot rent an apartment till when you are done with your registration with the care home that brought you to uk but they can rent the apartment for you and everything because you and again you need your nin is it nin your new number either need or this thing do you guys understand what i'm trying to say so that's why i said to that Okay, if people are leaving Nigeria for the first time, if you are looking for accommodation, this is the type of accommodation you will rent to that they will not require for okay, NIN or that you can get with your passport, you can get with your document and everything. Did I leave my house? Did I leave to UK? Have I entered UK before? But then that, that's like five videos that you will never see on YouTube telling Nigerians what to do. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? Where did I get this information from? Are they eating? Type it on Google, you see it. And the thing is, sometimes when you, when you type it on Google, when you read it, you know, some people, some of this information that we talk about is actually on Google. But when you read it, it will in English, right? It's not as if you don't understand English, but you just sometimes you have to read and understand. So my only is just to read, understand, then come to you, explain it to you, and compare it to Nigeria housing system. So that even when you sleep, even in the next 10 years, you will still remember the scene I created in your head. You will still remember. Like I told you that somebody sent me an email she was like, you know, in my world, I said, this UK um, agency, they are like, in Nigeria, when a landlord gives their house to an agent, she caught me in my world. And that means the way I analyzed it, it made that to understand that in Kotomi Lele, it was this same person. They sent me an email that was asking me that am I sure is a care home? Because from my explanation, she was able to deduce that anything to bashe avoid agency. Target the care home. Even if I've always said this, but with my explanation, it actually gave her more points. Have I ever been to the UK? I don't ever step into the UK. Do I have any distance to do in the UK? Do you guys not understand me? Do you guys get my point? So when people in UK talk. They don't have time to do research because if if you work less than the recommended hours that they tell you to work in uk uk embassy i'll be this and they'll start hiring you like this just like when you're coming from nigeria and then you tell uk that you're going on a student visa hmm? and then you get there 
they're always marking you absent. In fact, they used to do it in every country. If you have absence more than this thing, they will reverse your visa. Oh, delaying it. Do you guys understand? So imagine somebody that's supposed to work there seven hours per week, and then you have to take up at least one shift. You have family, you have husband to take care of. You now sit down and come and be calling agency one by uh, I keep saying you now be call, calling care of one by one. Uh -uh. You safe. If you think I'm lying, maybe you know all these YouTubers. Go to them. You say, uh uh, you're my favorite YouTuber. You know, I enjoy watching. Please, can you help us call all these care homes? I think there are over 30,000 care homes in UK. Tell them now, please, can you be calling these care homes for us one by one so that you just tell them the one that you will just send email? Please, somebody should just go to that channel and go and see it. And also, they not get your response. It's not going to be possible because they have to work for a required amount of time to keep their act, their visa active the only person that might not maybe can have time is somebody that came to uk as a dependent and most of the time when you come to uk as a dependent you mostly do not have information but it does not mean no it does not mean it does not mean anything so it's only maybe if that person came as a dependent the person is not working and everything hey you cannot take time but it's very weird to see somebody that was just sitting in uk people do it though people sit there you can be jobless and everything but then I don't have anything I'm doing. This information is online. They are not eating. It's not as if um, UK said, eh, nobody can accept this website from now. As if nobody can accept this website from you, you say, ah, this girl, where did you see it? It's online. Type it on Google, gov.uk. You go see, you read visa information. Type it on Google, care homes that accept Nigerians. List of care homes in Nigeria, you start calling them one after the other. And that is why I posted just two care homes here. After that time, did you see me post any care on me? Because I know the other ones na scam. The other ones na waiting na scam. Unless when I started this unpopular one, I posted the first one. And before I said this thing, now people were not even subscribed. They've submitted document and everything. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So when I get you to pay for something, and because I'm in Nigeria, I had somebody that sent me an email that was interested that he wants to pay. I sent him my Nigeria account number. He said he wants my UK account number. Then I asked him, did you check my channel very well? I made a video telling you that I live in Nigeria. When this guy requested for my UK number, I could have called that my second friend. Alpha, I need your account. I won't collect money. Or even if it's going to be a guy's name. You people don't know my real name yet, do you? Oh yeah, I beg. Let me call one of your female friends. No, we will go gather share me and you. I will ask for that candidate, send all the code, send it to him. The wife will send it to, the money to him. Will he know if it's not my video? Will he know or not? But I told him, I'll be attaching the screenshots. I told him, I am in Nigeria. I make my research from Nigeria. If you don't want to pay into a Nigerian account, leave it. Don't bother. I will not say because of the money you want to pay, I will not lie that. Oh, come on, come. I will never do that. I will never do that. Because if something happens to me, I say, ah, you know that this guy is in a job, what the, hmm, I will never ever do that. It's very easy for me to lie. Send you your account number or whatever. I can last this long on my pen. That any money I can enter your card, you will share it in 10%. Who don't need money for UK? Who don't need money? But I will never do that. I will send them my Nigerian. Most of them, once I send my Nigerian account, when they see it, they stop replying. And I, I understand. I understand some of these people want to pay from outside the country, but when they say, you want to pay to a Nigerian? You want to pay to a Nigerian? They are scam. They are scam. That is what everybody knows about us. They are scam. And that is why I am here. Ready to change the narrative. Not all Nigerians are scam. No be all of us be scam. Because they they did they, 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 no be all of us be scam. Some of us take our time to make our research. So when you come to my comment section and tell me you're a scam, I will see killing come will say killing. I take my time. And some of you you have access to some of these care homes, they've shortlisted you. Oh yeah, now since they've just listened to you, drop this care home so that other people can reply. You know, good job. Just like one girl, she said, yes, she has up to 30 care homes now that they've just listed that she's waiting for a letter. I said, okay, very nice. Oh yeah, even if it's just two out of this care home, drop it so that other people can apply to it. I be did I say anything bad? I never asked her for two, three, four, five. Four. I just said just two out of the 30 so that other people can listen. She replied to me for other this thing. She know she not good drop her. But then you want me that I had sleepless night too. Do you know how much air time where I use call UK? You don't call UK before. Load 1000 never. Before you say, hello, hi. Some of them are, now first you may go even pick your call. Some of it, when you are calling them, the phone is ringing, you know. See, when you now see zero point, your distance is, ah, this thing is, 
this person never pick where my money they read some of them their standard organization what you call them they say um welcome to any company to copy this to impress one to talk to a customer can press two the, so, some of it is up to 15. in nigeria when they are talking you to copy this when you just press six directly you say okay let me transfer it to call but you can if you like press this thing if the computer not talk finish now this thing if i'm lying try to call one k home just try please just try they will finish all the, and sometimes after saying that 15 or 10 it could be 8 it could be anything i just said 15 no uh -huh. the only man it could be 8 sometimes because of the only body this thing mm, but i will the children say to repeat this thing press zero i'll press zero again who said time is going so imagine the amount of your time i use them calling over 2000 here it's even more than that because i did it in six weeks plus over that do you know how much even when even when i go finally get this first one i was like i beg i'll just come and tell you people that i beg more they find another country so when i just say just try the last and that's why i keep telling you that when you send applications and there is no response send the one thousand once time that after one thousand application don't send it again Sent it the last one to make it 1001. I know I've said it before in my video and I make use of that rule and it worked for me. I said after this one that I've caught so many, I'm tired, I'm not doing it again. I've wasted my head time and nothing. Everybody is just saying no. So before you say, do you request from Nigeria? Daga? Do you request from I never even called the Nigeria? They don't hand you call. So I make use of my that damn it, you've, you've always told people on your channel. When they I'm, I'm, I'm Applying, they should apply to 1000 after 1000 they should not apply for it again, but they should try it one more and i tried that one more that was when i got that again and if you guys watched um that my episode too that was why i said after she said it i called her again do you know what i said after i said yes the request from nigeria i have to send her an email again she until you show you know when you receive the gesture everybody are almost over two thousand between two thousand five say we are not recruiting we are not recruiting we are not recruiting excuse me and then one person say you are recruiting you'll be like hey Joe. <laughs> do you hear what i said i had to send an email that <laughs> this girl should not hear me i said nigeria if you saw the mail i asked her are you sure it's nigeria and she said yes she the way i was looking she said yes na nigeria yes so if you feel like this thing is easy for you to do that's what i tell you <sighs> this information is online it's on the website go go and search for it so the benefit you're having is you're not applying to many care homes you have one care home to yourself for the rest of every life you keep applying to their vacancies and as i said unless you are sending an empty seeds because it's only few people that have access to it other ones that they bring online and clinical is going to be quickly before you say, many people have sent this thing to you i have another video that will talk more on that so i just came to tell you that about that scamming and the one that people feel like how can you be in nigeria and be making video about you and everything and i told the guy if you know that i'm a scam i'm telling you people wrong information let him tell uk people i'll be uk government let them petition me or call me for question i've had days to call let them petition me i will go when they say auntie you've been giving us wrong information then i will ask bring out your evidence of the wrong information i'm giving the way they now draw out something for my view that this thing is not correct or anything and i was like hey it's not correct if it's motivated gov.uk okay you can read it yourself and of course before when you petition somebody before they even have mm, even when you tell somebody that somebody is scam before they even petition they would have gone through the person's video and everything so when they come with that how will you say people are not recruiting before they even even they cannot even answer because they know but some people may know they will say come and explain yourself and then i'll tell them we have tv different types of organization in uk we have care home we have agency and we have nhs even for we have care home we have independent independent care home we have um nhs we have agency and we have dependent care home because there are some care home that is dependent like they have last with nhs if you apply to them they can't recruit you so you have to look for the one that does not have link with NHS. Can you see do you know that we have four now? So in all your four, you have to filter out TV. You have to filter out TV. You have to filter out the one that are dependent on NHS, the agency, and then the and then the NHS. Then you work with care homes that are independent. Do you not know what it takes? Calling over thousands of care homes. I'll be saying, are you dependent? Some people when you ask them, they don't know what is. Are you dependent on NHS? They don't know it. <laughs> There's a way you actually check. So let's say you're asking them. Some people say, sorry, I don't understand. 
because not be the <laughs> HR. It's not the child the first way that I speak, like I say, it could be the receptionist, it could be somebody else, you know, sorry what I say, just like me. I'm working in first bank and they asking me am I do I have dependent with um CBN? Okay, CBN is normal. Maybe asking me another do you understand? I tell you, sorry, I can't even tell you no self. Go back to your So guys, do you not understand the research I have made? But then this one was telling me that because it works in the agency, I don't know what I'm saying. That we are both right. He knows that it's very difficult for an agency to recruit you. He knows it. And I told him, guy, I am not giving them agency number. It is care home I am giving them. They are two different things. Why can't they attack me like this now? So we were working in the agency for this thing. Is it agency I'm talking? I'm talking about care home. Can you see that the guy confirmed it that even as a UK agent, though, it's, easy, it's not easy for, to offer sponsorship. I said, okay, I know that one. We know that. I'm talking about care homes. He kept attacking me. So that's the video I said I should come and make for you guys. For you guys to know the difference. You are in UK, does not mean that you know more than people that is in Nigeria. Some people now in UK, if you ask them, how do you get to UK? They can't even tell you the full process. I've, I've seen videos on YouTube and how to move from Nigeria to UK. Which of them is comprehensive enough? When I said I want to delete my channel, I saw one comment and said, please, don't delete it. I have learned a whole lot from your video. And she made reference to actually the way I filled the work visa form. Have I applied to work before in UK? Have I even ordinary visit visa never applied? I don't even know how this year content looks like. The first time that our first is that like I used to say, if you watch that video, I'll say ah, this form is long, but that's because <laughs> do you guys understand me now? So you are in UK does not mean you know more than me. I am jobless, I'm a full-time YouTuber. What I do for a living is making research and bringing it to people. But then, because you work inside one organization, you feel like you know all the nook and cranny of everything. Do you know that the best people to even ask information they are the gate man? Now, get me and they even get information past receptionist. Because now you know what they come inside this house, what they go outside, now you, now you know everything. But then you now say because you're a receptionist or because you're admin, you know, because once you enter your boss, you are inside that office till four o'clock. But get man with you who came in and they did it. People, um, get the people visitor will ask the guest man, um, please they do this. I don't know. Okay, ask them how far did they do it? When you go to the bank, you know what I'm saying. When you go to the bank, ask this security, they were even there outside. They know more than all of them. We say they they in front of those counter. Those people they in front of those counter. It's only what they know that they know. Those security people, they will tell you everything. They are not just security person be this so. I mean, that's it. When I'm going to the bank. Lati, you see all those ones that I used to say outside the bank, and I was asking them, hey, please, and I was like, please, do you know something about that phone now? I'm going to copy it. And then they get information pass. Nobody say so because he did in front of counter now. You mean say, ah, do, do you guys understand it? So please, before you call me a scam or anything, have everything that you paid for a service and I did not offer you. Don't just sit there in your house just because you see a Nigerian trying to drive and everything that what she's doing what people have never done before. I think it's not fair. She's a scam. She's an everything. She's a this, she did that, she did everything. Don't ever. That's why I'm making this video. And I'm not forcing anybody to pay like I said. And I said, pay only when you are qualified. There's so many agents in Nigeria that is collecting money. Or qualify you. Or they will tell you, you know, you not sit for interview. They will just accept you. They will just say, well, I told you. The money you are paying is just for the care home. You have access to them. They have so many vacancies. You can be shortlisted. You keep writing this thing. And then some people say, how, how will they pay when it's not sure for them? So, you now think that with TV on JK, you want to get interview. You want to get CSO. You want to get Ole Buku Nye. Ole Nye. So, you're expecting me to say, that TV on JK, I'm coming for your certificate of sponsorship. There's no interview for you. They will just, you just pass just like that. That's what you're expecting. You say, you're a thief. You're a thief. And that's why I told you. That thing you're drinking is just to tell you the name. When you get there, you can apply yourself. If you've been applying before, you understand. And if you're not tired of searching, keep searching. That is what the money is for. So the advantage of actually doing this is because when you pay, if I made the money cheap, everybody can afford it. When you pay, like that you're under now, access to just 150 people. So can you compare... 150 people applying to a care home and then over 20,000 people sending email to one care home. Why they not go block Porter? Why would they block email? Why would they stop responding? How will they respond? How now? How will they respond? 
10,000 people, people from Nigeria, from Ghana, from Cameroon, from Zimbabwe, apply to the same care home. Why wouldn't they block the border? Why? How? Or if it's 150 people, and I told you, these people, they have so many vacancies. If they don't shortlist, there's no how they would have shortlist out of that 150. They would say, even if it's one person that they shortlist, the, is many 149 people. Even the next, this, and I told you, if you are used to this website, you know that they post vacancies almost every time. You see some three days ago, two days ago, some, some they just posted it now. They are looking for care workers. And once you pay your money, you have access to this website. So the one where you can say, some, even when you pay, you can say, before I pay, go, let me go and get experience here for anything. You have access to it. And you know, funny enough, most of these vacancies, they don't take time. They can post a vacancy now, now, and then they will say it expire TV days time. I showed you sample now. TV days time. That's, even these care homes, they don't want cloud. To buy their one a child of a company, and then you posted something, come and plan, then you are seeing 10,000 applications. You go download them. How much are they paying you? How much are they paying you? 10,000 people applying to one care home. Why you don't go block the email? Some of you, you've mute your WhatsApp status. I be WhatsApp, you mute your WhatsApp group because people are just, you're tired of all those. Why did you mute your WhatsApp group? Ordinary message that they are sending you that when you come back, you would have seen 200 and something message. Ordinary 200 and something message, you mute everybody where they that group. But then you're expecting people that is working in this HR to attend to 20,000 CV. How? How? So sometimes some of these care homes, they, they customize their CV automatically to maybe after 100, go shut down or go block. And that's why when you send CV to some website, the thing will actually bounce back. So the essence of the money is to regulate num the number of people on that website. Have you seen a situation where somebody announced giveaway and then when people watch there, what happens? Ah, website don't crash. Why? Because too much force. Who will sit down and be analyzing 10,000 CV? <laughs> Especially when it's something that they need, something that does not require experience. Why do you call this 10,000 CV? You will not be analyzing it. You will say, if I'm the HR, even if they are paying me 1 million per month, and your guy asks me, how many people send CV? I say, Okay, not just 100 though, not just 100. Well, the first 10, my download, the first 100, man, and it's all cool. It go. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? But if it's 100 people that are sending CV, it's head up. If it is 150, it's head up. Can't you anyway from that 150 group? 50 people now found the website. If it's 200 people that are sending CV, or easy if you know, let's analyze, okay, let's shortlist this one. But to about 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. These HR people, they are human beings. Receptionists, they are human beings. Because they will download the CV, they will send, print it out. Imagine 10,000 paper. 10,000 paper. I'll be 20,000. I'll even say 10,000 because I know they are more than that. Because if you combine all the views from these different YouTubers, different people, do you know if they are, some is entry 100k CV? 100k? Who will download 100k CV? Who? Who? Even when you download it and then you see all the paper, what should you go buy? <laughs> and that is why for UK UK they don't check bank statement but they do it randomly because there are so many applicants they'll just carry the bank statement like this they'll just say mm, they'll just pick randomly they'll just say we'll check the authenticity of this so why some people will do fake the way it's cool because they cannot be sitting, but Canada, they take that, they check everybody's home. They check everybody's home. And that's why you see that Canada this needs to take time. Whereas UK, you don't collect your visa. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? Nobody will download 100,000 CV. <laughs> Nobody will do that. So you paint, that means like you have limited access to that care home. The care home will recruit you. They offer a certificate of sponsorship. Or work for you to do your CV apply on time and this thing so if you are one of those people that apply even if you don't have qualification and then you are you are one of those people that apply and then it's 10 people that they uh, they send cv they send people 10 people send their cv they are looking for 12 people nobody sends cv again we then come and originate people from another place who will they recruit a lot of you your cv do you understand it you're limited to one website and you will tailor your CV to that website. Not like you say, I have a video coming up. 
like to explain but i cannot be repeating everything and everything so that's what just what i said let me come and tell you guys like i made my research before making any video here the fact that i'm in nigeria does not mean i am fake and i keep telling you that not all nigerians are scammers not all online vendors ask as scammers so don't come and tell somebody you're a scam you're a liar anything when you do not have this if you call me a scam bring out a video evidence bring out a receipt that you paid though and i did not and that's why i said when i add it to the group before we, before i exit the group two or three people will volunteer in the group let them call the care home themselves i'll just put the number in the group oh yeah and you met a volunteer somebody can call from botswana someone can call from gambia someone can call from ghana okay you you call the care home oh yeah take the number but first person should go first you should not put pressure on the distance first person will call what did they say did they say they are offering you should tell yes second person did they say if if third person says they say they are not offering i say ah oh yeah another person should call this one said they are not offering oh yeah wait you should calm down make i call them then i'll call them i'll say uh, elena i just called you now you say you are repeating they say no we didn't say something like that. i'll go back to the group hey mr ghana why did you say they are not repeating what did you tell them oh yeah somebody else volunteer yourself till we certify that oh yeah maybe do not use the correct word maybe do not use it and then when i love you who, who else want to call to be sure oh, not you satisfied that okay they will quit your money you don't you, you don't do a be never do he don't satisfy or he never satisfy so it's not as if maybe i'll just give you care of my dad and then when you go and reply it keeps bouncing back the purpose is calling them to confirm do you give nigerian cs and that's why i say if I remember, do you give Botswana CSO? Yes. Do you give Nigerian CSO? Yes, we do. Once they confirm that, yes, we do. That's where your money is. So the other one, you have direct website to it. Sit down in your house. Take your time. Read about the website. Check all the vacancies. Download your CV to it. There's a difference between when you actually paid, you are restricted to one website. Eh? With one website, and you know all the vacancies, you know their one. You can have up to 10 CV. And that's the advantage of paying for this website. Like that even on JKO. I said they have care, assistant, customer care, everything. And you can be with customer care. It's not a qualification. Anybody can be customer care. It's not a pickle. So you just... So when you pick a vacancy, you will see what... Well, we need a client that is requested to clinic on everything. Eh, No, you won't lift it there, but you know there's a way you do it. Just add it to your CV. Then you label it. Customer care CV put it to about it the senior care we need somebody that can't can you come and do you know that go on google now go on google type novo uk type a1 care there anyone that i see type care assistant read what they wrote under care assistant go on novo uk type read what they write under care assistant are they the same qualifications that not like qualifications are they the same um, personal skills uh, requirements are they the same so when you have access to one website, you will know that. And when they want to post under care home, I'll be care assistant, they will just copy that one that they're using their previous account. They will just post it. But the only thing that will change is location of the job or the price of the job. But it's still the same qualification that you see. But by the time you are open to so many websites, you have only you, you are applying to Avanti. Only you, you are applying to A1 Care Home. Only you, you are applying to um, Novo You. Only you. And all of them, they have different requirements. Well, even if they even shortlist you by Mr. Go, you're not even using the right term of the distance. So when you actually quote a website by there, it gives you more chances. Right? So, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So that is what you're paying. But if you know that you're not tired of applying to general um, website, it's okay. Keep your time. Keep applying. Like I used to tell, after 1,000 time, don't apply. Some of you have applied to just state and you are tired. If you want to call, you must send the email. So that's how, how much hard work is Ashidemis is not a scam. I've taken time for years to build this brand to this stage. Ashidemis is not a scam. The fact that I am a Nigerian living in Nigeria, using a Nigerian account to receive the money does not make me a scam. But that's why I said if you have trust you, if you don't believe, leave it. Do not pay. Keep searching. You've been searching for these people, you keep they keep bounce, you never get anything. It's not time to try something else. But because I'm in Nigeria, you feel like this girl, she did talk, she don't know anything she did talk. This information is online. It's not as if it's about war, it's inside Kolabash. It's online, everybody has access to it. The only difference is, are you ready to dedicate the time? Imagine you six weeks, 
to find ordinary one agent. I keep saying one agent. One care home. Six weeks. Do you know what it be six weeks? <laughs> and it's even more than that, she's swimming. Even before I started, it's even more than that. But more will just be like, okay, after I started, do you know what is that? Calling for me ahead of time. Some of you cannot even stand. Some of you will just cut it. Some of you want to just get TV rejection. Oh, shame. Some of you, they've denied you just TV times in USA. And because of that, you change country to UK. Some of you, they denied you once. And because of that, you don't do it again. And then somebody keep telling you, we don't want to hear Nigeria. <laughs> yes. Anyways, I'm tired. Thanks for watching today's video. Ah, the panel is old. I don't know. I said I'm quitting um, this tension. So I might not be able to see you in my next video. So that knows what happened. And I said, let me come and tell you guys. <laughs> so, special appreciation to all of you that even when you realize that I'm in Nigeria and you still stay subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I know that. Ah, Paul, I know we're not plenty, but if people see the solidarity, mm -hmm. that's the word, the solidarity between us, when they see the way we communicate, the way we leave comments, and that's why before you people leave comments, five minutes, I don't reply, you, you know. When, when new viewers come and they see the solidarity between us and everything, they will keep joining the trust, they will keep joining, before you know it, the thing will expand, before you know it, we start having them, ah, there's one girl in Nigeria, she never go to Nigeria and everything, that girl, she give a care of, just not say you will get the job, let's say this thing. And like I told you, there's no, I don't know. But there are some people that, some of you are subscribed to these YouTubers to get job, once you get job like this, once you don't enter UK, why would you even be watching an immigration channel? Unless you just like the person, you know, right? Most of you won't subscribe. So that's why you're going to UK to make money. Happy, me, me. Let me make more from you now. You want, now only you want to go UK, and you know that this channel is not monetized. I've been giving you free content. Let me say, if I want to make money, I want to travel. Don't believe you want to travel. I want to travel too. You want to travel, I go and make money. Me, as you did here. Now, now. Thanks for watching. Reading, call me. I'll see you in my next video.